Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to attempt to take Not the Plaguebringer down with Freeze Mage. Now we don't have the usual two drops that draw cards, so I think these are okay. We're basically playing Freeze Mage um, without any of the cheap minions. <clears throat> Like novice engineers and acolytes of pain You're and that done. jazz. <clears throat> Bring out your dead. Um, because we don't have as much guaranteed card draw, we'll need to be lucky and get the right AoE. I'll show them. I have Blizzard for turn six. <clears throat> this will buy us some time. We hope he doesn't get an ice block, then we're pretty screwed. He does have one ice block in his deck. Come on. Come on. Bring out your dead. Damn, has death right now. Please don't play something with Battle Cry. Oh, that'll do one damage anyway. Now he'll get two more of something. I have no idea what, to be honest. We'll find out. Fourth and fifth cards in his hand. Wait, that didn't die. There we go. Okay. Die, no die. Or both. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. I love another blizzard. Cannot express how bad or a flame strike. Not it. I think this is just too much damage. Uh, Frost Nova, six. Nah, I think I have to just take it for now. Lame as that is. I think I'll get to turn nine if I'm lucky, have some more damage. And pray it's not a nice block as well. at the start of your turn. Okay. So that'll give him a 5-5. Five, five. Damn. It's another chance it might be Ice Block. Rise, my soldiers. Rise and fight once more. Oh, that's good. 6 and 3. 9 and 4 is 13. Damn. I guess better that than rather minions. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Oh, but maybe my Alex can attack too. Okay, time to go for it. I bring life. I shouldn't die this turn. Looks like I'll get to attack with that too. Now the order is quite important here. Ooh, Blizzard's tempting as well. 
8 and 6 is 14. Can't do all of it though. Have to go for a minute there. Okay, there's a nice block, but I moved down to one. So I should win. I don't I haven't seen Nath have anything which can heal. There's just too many ways to be M here. But um that's what we'll do. You require my assistance. He doesn't have another ice block. Oh, let's just kill this guy. Down you go. Alright, let's take a look at the deck list. So I call it Ghost Mage because um, you somehow manage to win without really playing any creatures. Um, basically you only have creatures where you um, are willing to play them on the turn you win or the turn before you win. So that the 5-5 five, five skeletons have very little impact on you. Um, it's basically a Freeze Mage deck, removing any minions that are dangerous. Uh, we have Ice Lance and Frostbolt for pure face damage, or in a pinch if you have enough kind of reserve uh, burn to um, take out a minion if you really need to. Thelnos is only in there to play with a bunch of spells because that's going to die and give him a 5-5. So you just want to play it if you need extra spell damage to do something like, you know, Thelnos Fireball, Frostbolt, Ice Lance to kill him off on the last turn. He does run Ice Block, that's really important to know, so you're not guaranteed to win if he has a secret up. Doomsayer is questionable because it kills itself and gives him a 5-5 minion, but sometimes, you know, if he has a full board, Frost Nova Doomsayer will stop him from playing anything the next turn too, and you'd rather have him just have a 5-5 out on the board than, you know, 6 minions or whatever. Arcane Intellect, one of your ways to draw cards that do not require playing a minion. Frost Nova to either just stall or combine with Doomsayer if he has a really big board. Ice Barrier to buy you time. Ice Blocks to, you know, buy you an extra turn so you can Alex Stralza him. Uh, because we have extra spots, we're not playing minions, so we have more spells. Vaporizers, another secret which can... Uh, this is pretty good because the AI is generally programmed to attack with its kind of beefiest minion first for some reason, so that plays very nicely into Vaporize. Cone of Cold to just stall things, of course. Fireball for burst damage. Polymorph, um, another spell which just slows him down if he has something big and scary out there, like a skeleton. In in this case, both of them were counterspelled. Uh, Blizzard and Flame Strike, your typical AoE and stall spells. Archmage Antonidas, again, you just play him to like with Frostbolt and Ice Lance. You never play him by himself, you play him with spells to get fireballs for the final burst damage to win. Alex is the linchpin of your plan, you really cannot win without her. Um, to set your opponent to 15, preferably while you have an ice block up so you're safe, and then to do enough burst damage the next turn. In this game we knew we needed two turns, um, including Alex Strauss's hits, given he couldn't trade with him straight away, uh, because of the secret we suspected was ice block. And finally Pyroblast, just another kind of kick of burn damage, um, because hey we need more spells. Um, so that's the deck. Um, for me it worked first time. Um, because you're running fewer minions that give you cards like Novice Engineer and Acolyte of Pain, it's less reliable than a typical Freeze Mage deck would be. Um, but it can still win if you get your AoE at the right time, get Alex Straza not too late, um, and get your Ice Blocks and whatnot. Uh, so that's the deck. Another way um, to take out not the Plaguebringer without too much pain. See you next time.